Welcome back to Autolux.net Autopod. I am your host, the doctor to the car, Dr. Everett J. No, I'm not an official doctor, but I am a car guy. Today we are looking back at how Lego has created a desire, a want, and a need in the automotive marketplace for its products to be turned into Lego products. We're talking about the Speed Champions that Lego created back in 2015 and how it has changed the automotive world today. Autoworks.net Autopod, streaming day or night, coming right at you, right here, right now. Welcome back to the Autopod. I am your host, Everett J. Keep following our Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, www.autolux.net, SoundCloud, and Podbean for all your updates from all of our ratings and new in podcasts. This week, we're looking at how Lego has expanded upon its creation of building its own automotive world, its own automotive city life, and given us what we desired, what we needed, what we wanted for every child out there. Lego Technic gave us the ability as a teenager and a preteen to build world-class cars out of their highly sophisticated and architecturally pleasing bricks. But in 2015, Lego said, hey, younger kids, kids in between five and six and up, want to be able to build their own versions of actual cars. And in 2015, the Speed Champions burst onto the scene and did that for us. It created some Something that we desired for so long. Hot Wheels has been doing it forever, building die-cast versions of the desirable cars that we want to own, we want to hold in our hand. Well, Lego finally did that with the Speed Champions, and it is now the third best-selling line from Lego. Now, this helped introduce children to their favorite sports cars, supercars, muscle cars, sports off-road trucks, Baja vehicles, rally racers, and Speed Champions brought the world of Le Mans and Formula One racing right inside your home. We're not talking about that television that you're watching on the other side. No, we are talking about the Lego that your child is using on the floor. That Lego that you step on all the time that they can now make their own vehicles from. The Speed Champions basically began life as the Lego City products. Way back into the 80s, Lego had their own little miniature race cars. They had sponsorships on them. I have one. I have a small original race car from Lego that actually has a shell advertisement on it. Pretty neat. So it gives me the illusion that it's a race car, okay? And then every kid, what do they do? They build these race cars and they go drive around and they go and buy the base plates, create their own racetrack, and have fun. Well, Lego did that. They had their own cars. And as their products evolved, and they moved from blocks to things with curves to better windshields, they started having the ability to create better, more realistic products. Look at when you get into the mid-90s. They start creating Baja Rally vehicles. They start creating transports a little, a little more realistic. Then they start getting into their own newer versions of Formula 1 race cars. And then they bring along one of my most favorite Lego sets that show the world that Lego isn't just a block toy you can build with. It gave you the illusion of being cool, being great. They gave us the hot rod. Yes, I actually have the individual hot rod and the hot rod shop Lego toys. I still have them. They are boxed up until my children get a little bit older. But those things give me the illusion that Lego isn't just Lego. Lego can be more. Lego can be cool. It can be realistic. It can look like vehicles. They're just sitting in my garage. It's amazing. Now that little plastic toy has evolved from this block style, boring, bland, not even any form of aerodynamic vehicle and turns us pieces from all my Lego models. I had some old Lego car from way back in the 80s that fall apart I had lost pieces from. And I got the idea to build my own truck. Now those ideas came from using the Lego Technic branded stuff and it shows how you can make so many different things out of the same pieces. And I thought to myself, well, regular Lego starting to look a bit better. Maybe, maybe this is the time I could build my own vehicle. I can have a truck that looks like the truck that I want to own when I get older. I want something to look like that 1996 Dodge Ram V10 diesel. So I started saving up all my access pieces. I used to be subscribed to the Lego magazine. They don't let me be part of it anymore because it's only for children, unfortunately, because I have every Lego magazine from them from 1987 all the way up to... 
2012 when they finally caught on that I wasn't a kid and cut me out of the Lego club. My kids are not part of it, but that's another story. But I saved up. And with that magazine, they send you the Christmas album. And the Christmas album, or catalog, always has these access pieces. Well, they had these wheels. Big monster truck style wheels. And they oscillated. They had suspension. They had, it, was, it was cool. So I bought those. You know, they're just access pieces. Cost me $20 for this bag of access pieces. And these are the only things that I ever wanted from them. Those things helped me build my truck that is sitting behind me. And if you've ever seen some of my videos, you might see it hanging out behind me. It's a nice big black Lego truck. I built it from scratch. There are all kinds of access pieces. There's pieces from space. There's pieces from city. There's pieces well, from some of the old medieval stuff too. All on that. But that hot rod thing gave me the inspiration to build my own realistic looking vehicle from Lego. And that's what the Speed Champions eventually did. But back when I was a kid, we didn't have Speed Champions. Your Lego man fit inside of a vehicle that was only as wide as him. The hot rods started changing that. The vehicles got wider. The base track got wider. And with Technic promoting realistic looking vehicles that are on a scale bigger than the average person could build with thousands of parts, Lego thought to themselves, maybe we need to build something for the younger kids that looks a little more realistic. In 2015, they did that. They went after and did what I and myself and tons of other people around the world have been trying to do for years. Build their own Lego cars that look and feel so realistic without the stupid wide fender flares that they have and the only ability to fit one man inside of. They have no appeal, no feel, no desire for me to go out and purchase something in the real world. And the Speed Champions did that. They introduced some amazing products from Ferrari, Porsche, McLaren, Ford, Mini, Chevrolet, Dodge, Mercedes-Benz, Bugatti, and Audi. Oh, they created the 4 GT where you can get the classic one. They had the Dodge Demon, Speed Stars. They had the Challenger Demon versus the original Charger. They had the Mini Cooper. They have the Rally version and the, and the Street version. They had the Ford Raptor truck. Oh, what do I have in my house? I got the Mercedes-Benz AMG GT3, uh, the Chevrolet Camaro, and, I'm, and the Ford Mustang. I want to get the Ferrari F40 and the McLaren Senna. But on top of that, they also created Le Mans Racers, the Ford GT pack, the Ferrari pack. Now they're starting to get into racing. Now they're starting to get kids into something more than just building cars that look real. They're giving them the desire to want to watch racing, to get involved with racing, to bring them into the automotive world. And then all of a sudden, bam, just like that. Lego introduces Lewis Hamilton's McLaren Mercedes Formula One race car and Sebastian Vettel right beside him. So now you can be Lewis Hamilton or Sebastian Vettel racing each other in Lego form. And the greatest thing about it, you don't even have to be that old. These products are made for kids who are just getting out of Duplo. They're getting out of those big blonky blocks and moving into the next phase of Lego, into the next phase of architecture and engineering. It's like you're moving up the ladder. My two-year-old daughter plays with Lego Duplo and builds blocks and towers and great things. And eventually she'll become like her brother, move into the next step of the block, use my suitcase of Lego to build houses, build garages, build their own cars, get into the speed champions, which now creates desire. My son loves the Mustang. He likes the Camaro because it's an ass car. He's got a Formula One race car my grandfather, his grandfather gave him and he plays with them all the time. He races them around the table. It has created a desire to watch racing. He is now more involved and more into the automotive scene and racing thanks to these Lego Speed Champions. All because Lego decided to finally give us what we wanted. But it doesn't just stop there. No. This new generation of Lego products is now morphed and moved even further. And because it came out in 2015 and it's four years old now. Some of these kids by now, because let's say you were six years old back then. Well now you're ten. What do you do when you get into ten? You start looking at Lego tech. But if your friends tell you you're too, that's for babies because babies play with Lego. Because some, well there are a lot of kids out there that bully kids because of that. You get out of that. But you still want those Lego cars. Just like myself, I still want those Hot Wheels, but I don't want to be seen playing with them. Lego took the next step and moved the Lego Speed Stars vehicles into the video game world. Just like Hot Wheels did, Lego has entered Forza. Not Gran Turismo, but they have entered the second best racing game of all time. They have entered into the Forza Motorsport. And now you can get these Lego Speed Champions vehicles in that universe. So if you weren't able to buy them when they were out, and you've had trouble finding these. You can now buy the game and get them. You can race the Speed Stars stars which is amazing it is now influencing kids even further because now they're playing these video games and they're saying to themselves i don't really care if my friends think i'm you know i play with lego whatever i'm gonna buy this model because i keep beating them with the ford mustang with the bullet mustang i keep kicking their asses at it so i'm gonna go out i'm gonna buy this lego car i'm gonna build it i'm gonna put it on my shelf as a trophy and a memento to myself to tell me one day i want to own that car why because that car was with me from when i was a kid into my adolescence into my adulthood and that's what
what these LEGO Speed Champion products are doing. They're doing the same thing that the Technic world has done. It is influencing a generation of kids. It is getting them into racing. It is getting them into cars. We're in a world of moving further and further away from car ownership. Products like LEGO, like Hot Wheels, hell, even, well, even like Playmobil, are getting kids back into these products. It's amazing. And it helps influence those car companies. Because now, I can't go out and I can't build a Toyota Supra in a Lego form. So it's creating less desire for it. And since the Toyota Supra is not involved in the Gran Turismo scene, it doesn't create a desire for it. So it becomes less desirable vehicle. But the Mustang, the Mustangs in the video game format, the Mustang is in Lego format, the Mustang is in Hot Wheels format, the Mustang is in real format. It creates that desire from when I was a child, two years old, and I got my first Hot Wheels. And then I moved up and I bought that big old, bigger Lego version of it. And then I got older and I played with it in video games. And then I got my license and I went out and bought that car. People don't realize how influential a toy can be upon the world and how great it can be at influencing young minds and changing the world around it. Yes, Lego is just a building block that has endless possibilities of fun and enjoyment for everyone around it. But it also helps industries. It brings the minds of people into better correlation with what's around them. Take for instance the space shuttle. Lego built a space shuttle. They've built Star Wars. They've built Ninja Turtles. Hell, they've gotten into games. They've gotten into everything. Why? Because that's where the kids are. That's how they can show them the world around them. And the LEGO Speed Champions has done this for another generation of kids. Whereas Hot Wheels keeps pushing the envelope from child to adult life, LEGO is now doing that as well. And we are glad that they have done it. This is Everett J from Autolux taking a look back at how LEGO went from a blocky, boring styled vehicle and has pushed the envelope into the next format. They have created a desire and a want and a need for more and more vehicles. And now you get to pick and choose which ones you want as lego is asking the consumer what products they should create they should put out what products are the most influential and people want to own a block formatted version of that car this has given us something else to look forward to something else to want something else to showcase on our shelf instead of owning one of those burigo or maisto giant metal cars i can now put lego on it which is amazing because that little toy i play with as a kid can now build a replica of something i desire and want and love and we have to thank them for that this is Everett J from Autolux saying, keep following our Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, SoundCloud, Podbean, and www.autolux.net for all your updated news on automotive designs and the world around us. From the Autopod, I would like to thank you and strap yourself in for one fun wild ride from the Autolux Autopod.